particular video is 100% compulsory and a must watch for everyone who is mining Avon 1 on Satoshi app. You can see the name Avon 1. There is a compulsory mission that Satoshi asks us to actually do. Now you can see what they said here. They said um, we need to visit the particular website, connect our wallet, and also do our KYC right from the Avon 1 testnet platform. And that's the reason why you need to pay attention to this video. And here is the Avon 1. In case if you're asking which particular one is this one right here, you can see the airdrop mining is still ongoing. And if you don't do what I'm about to show you right now, you won't be receiving your distribution from these guys. But remember, as you're watching, kind of ensure you like and share, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All right, so just go straight to your MetaMax. I will suggest MetaMax. And meanwhile, you can decide to use any Web3 wallet of your choice, but I'm using MetaMax, right? And now, having launched um, your MetaMax, you're going to be clicking on browser or the DAP area and for mine, here is my own browser on my MetaMax. You can also update your MetaMax um, wallet or app from Play Store or iOS Store. And at the top where you're meant to search, you'll be searching for this URL or the link avon1.org and then you click on search. Remember to like this video, share with others and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And now here is what you're going to be doing. You'll be clicking on join the testnet. All right. So click on join the testnet um, at the top again. Then you're choosing MetaMax. And um, if you're experiencing some delays, here's exactly what I would be suggesting you do. Simply go to the settings of your mobile phone because if you notice, I'm actually adding this particular one just in case you may be having the same issues with the one I'm having right now. The platform is delaying to load, but when I search for the URL on MetaMax, it redirected me to my custom browser, which is my sys browser. And if you're having the same issue of being um, delayed, just simply go to the settings of your phone and on your settings, now you'll be searching for browser. Alright, when I search for browser, you can see I have default browser app. Click on that. And now you can see my default browser on my device is my sys browser. So I'll be switching this to MetaMax. And the reason why I'm switching to MetaMax is simply because of this mission. And after this mission, I will return back because I notice when I'm trying to browse on MetaMax, it keeps redirecting it back to my sys browser. And for this mission, I notice on my device, I don't know for others, is not loading fast on my sys browser. All right, so I'm going to be changing my default browser to MetaMax. And after the whole mission, I'm going to return back and switch my default browser again. Now I've chosen MetaMax. So I'll minimize and return to MetaMax again. I've launched my MetaMax browser again and I've launched the website, which is avon1.org. That's the website you're logging into, right? Now you'll be clicking on join the testnet and you would also notice that this will be a bit more um, faster. All right, if you look at the top, you can see where you have join testnet. Go ahead and click on that. Then you're choosing MetaMax. This is the account that I want to use. Go ahead and connect it. All right, you can see it's asking me to confirm. Now you can see I'm actually meant to switch to the testnet um, site. So right now I'm going to be switching by clicking on confirm. And that's the advantage of using MetaMax over other um, Web3 wallets. Now you click on switch network. Now click on got it because I have switched. All right. And how do you even check? If you've really switched the network, simply click right there. Now you can see currently the network has been switched. And that is why if you look at the top, you're seeing Avon 1, 
testnet all right so let's return to our browser and let's continue with this meanwhile you don't even need to check i just decided to check just to show you in case right here's exactly what you're going to be doing just go down a little you can see this is step one connect wallet which means i've actually done that so now the step two is to provide basic information which is what i'm expected to do right now and if you notice i said i need a referral link so i'll be showing you the referral link you need to use as well and the last thing you're meant to provide here is your email address you type in your email address you go down and you select um your account type and your jurisdiction all right having typed your email you come down to where you have this account type choose and you're choosing individual right and for the country you choose your country mine is nigeria so i'm just typing nig and the remaining one should automatically pop up for me to choose from now just choose your country make sure you choose your correct country okay then you click on sign up okay you can see i've actually um signed up on the platform and here's the referral code you will be using okay for those who may be asking which referral code should i use i'll also be dropping the referral code on our telegram group also you can check the comment section you'll be seeing that right there or if you can simply type this out you can go ahead and copy that out and make use of it when you're being asked for the referral right now having signed up the next thing you need to do is to verify your identity click on that and remember the reason why we are doing all this is because it is compulsory if it is not compulsory we would have actually abandoned it but it's compulsory all right so you just go down and click on connect again choose your metamax again connect wallet just connect below and you can see the reason why this is also much faster is because i'm using metamask as even my default browser so it is not taking me here and there all right so you can now see the reason why i actually decided to switch my um entire browser to metamask so it will be redirecting me to chrome or any other browser all right now just go ahead and click on sign in Now go ahead and click on the sign in. Okay. So go ahead and choose your account type again. And you're choosing individual. Choose your country again. Nigeria or whatever country you're from, you choose that. And your nationality, whatever um, you're from, you choose that as well. And then you click on confirm okay this is the main deal where you're being asked to submit your proof of verification so go ahead and click on start verification say so you scan your face and the second thing you'll be doing is your id document so let me start verification accept all the terms whatever terms you're giving just accept every single one of them and remember to like this video as you're watching make sure you like and make sure you share this with others and i noticed that my metamax isn't even allowing me to capture my face so what i will be doing now is that i'm going to be switching my default browser again to chrome right so just go to the settings of your phone again Alright, so I'm clicking on default browser and I'm switching that to Chrome. I've switched, so I will be launching this platform right now on Chrome. So you can see when I click, it said open on Chrome. So I've copied the website um, URL and then opened it directly on my Chrome. And the only reason I'm doing this particular one is just so I can show you as well in case if you're having the same issues with what i'm actually having right now right that's the only reason why i will allow this particular one to enter the video so click on connect choose metamax 
connect it with your Metamax. Connect it, click on connect. All right, you can see it's saying active. Now it's asking me to sign in. Go ahead and sign in. So choose Metamax again. Then click on sign. All right. Now click on start verification. I think the Chrome should load um, the official verification properly right now. Click on start verification. Accept the terms and condition. Grant um, camera permission. Grant it. Click on allow. Allow. Now the information that I'm receiving right now, my screen says, I can't do this while recording. All right. So this is exactly what you're going to be doing. Just go ahead and um, try this. If you're using auto clickers or whatever overlay apps you have, you need to actually remove them. Okay. So one of them that I'm using right now is this my pointer and my recorder. So I'm going to disable that right now, which means I won't be able to record this one. It is after the facial. It is after my face has been captured. That is exactly when I will continue with this video. So I've done the facial verification and this actually showed a successful message. But for now, it is not redirecting me to submit my ID. And if I still go ahead and click on start verification now to be telling me that I've already submitted my face um, scan. So which means for now, their platform is still under development, especially this their ID verification aspect of their platform is still under development. So they will be working on that uh, much more later. But that's exactly the major thing we need to do right now on the platform. The other things they ask us to do is probably to just do some other silly missions. And let's see if we can do that without even completing every other KYC. And yeah, you're going to be clicking on faucet. Just click on that. You can see even their platform isn't really responding for now. So here is what we're going to be doing once the platform is much more stable. Any other mission or tasks that we need to do other than the KYC, I'll be updating us.